It's me, Teacher Danny, and let's travel while counting! Hello there! Do you want to roam around with me and count all the things that we see? Yes, please! Great! Come and join me in the world of mathematics! and there are many fishes swimming in the river. count all the fish that we see. Let's start with the blue fish. Count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. How about the red fish? Let's count them all. One, two, three, and four. So we have five blue fishes and four red fishes. How many fishes are there in all? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We have 9 fishes in the river. Cool! Therefore, when we compose 5 and 4, we will have 9. So 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Very good! And when we decompose, in order to make 9, we need... 5 and 4. Very good. And now, let's go to the garden and count all the butterflies that we see. Are you ready? Let's go! Wow! So the big butterflies are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. While the small butterflies are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So how many butterflies do we see around the garden? Let's compose 6 big butterflies and 7 small butterflies. All in all, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 colorful butterflies. Very good. And now, let's try to decompose 13. In order to make 13, what numbers do we need? We need 6 and 7. Very good. I got it. I got it. It's all very clear to me now, Mr. Krabs. It is? Yeah. I finally realized that I can't do it! 
Now, let's move on to our last destination. Where? Up in the hill! Let's count all the birds that we see on the hill. How many birds can you see? Let's try to count first all the birds which are flying. We have one, two, three, and four. And how many birds are not flying? We have one, two, and three. Now let's compose. We have four flying birds and three birds which are not flying so all in all we have four and three which will make how many very good they are all seven birds and now let's try to decompose seven in order to make seven we must have four and three very good I had fun traveling with you kids while composing and decomposing numbers. Again, when we compose numbers, we join or put together the set of numbers to make another number. Like 6 and 3 which will make 9. 2 and 2 will make 4. And 4 and 0 will make another 4. Alright, now while decomposing means to break the numbers down to their component parts like 9 which may be decomposed into 6 and 3 or 4 which will be decomposed to 1 and 3 or 5 which may be decomposed to 1 and 4 that's how we compose and decompose numbers it's so fun to learn how to count numbers, right? Yeah! And now, it's time for you to compose and decompose numbers. Hey, Complete the following number by composing or decomposing. Compose the following numbers. One and six will make... Four plus four is equal to and six plus two plus one is equal to Time's up! Here's the answer for our first part. One and six will make seven. Four plus four is Very good! And how about for the next challenge? Decompose the following numbers. 5 is 4 and black. 8 is equal to 6 plus black. And 7 is equal to 3 and 4 and what number? Did you get them right? Now here's the answer. 5 is 4 and 1. 8 is equal to 6 and 2. And 7 is 3 plus 4 plus 0. Well done! Wow! Congratulations! Here are greetings just for you. This is from Dr. Edgar Casares. A great and wonderful day to our dear learners. Always remember that education is the best gift that your parents could ever give. And this pandemic that we are experiencing right now can never stop you from learning new knowledge and skills with the guidance and support of Teacher Danny. 
I believe that with this innovation that Teacher Danny has created for you, learning will be more engaging, fun, and enjoyable, and you are more willing to participate actively with the interactive activities at hand. I am confident that this will help you retain information better because the process is enjoyable and fosters long-term memory. Okay kids, have fun while you are still young and we will never worry about what you become tomorrow because we believe that you are someone today. Good luck! From the bottom of my heart and in behalf of all the children who are watching, thank you very much Dr. Edgar Casares. Hello kids, continue to study and learn new things with the guidance of your teacher Danny. It may be a difficult adjustment for you since we have COVID pandemic. But with the help of your teacher, you are in a good hands. This is what Dean Jace, all the way from UK, wishing you all good health and happiness. May God bless you all. Now, thank you for another fun and learning adventure with me, Teacher Danny. And I hope you have learned a lot today. And when you see this below, don't forget to click it and hit subscribe or ring the notification bell and share your fun and learning experiences. Bye-bye!